Yes. Hi all, I am Karthik Ayan. I am working as a lead engineer in Elastic Run. And uh, I have been working in uh, with Frappe for more than uh, four and a half years uh, for development of apps and all. So today I will be showing you uh, what is uh, about uh, Barista, what it is, uh, uh, who are all can use it, and uh, how it works. Okay. So Barista is actually a testing. To, uh, it is a tool for testing Frappe applications, and uh, it in turn is a Frappe application only. So uh, while developing Frappe applications, right? Like uh, Frappe itself do, does all the heavy lifting by creating all the uh, basic uh, Python, JavaScript, client, uh, JSON files, and everything. And as a developer, I just need to concentrate on the business logics as per our requirements. Uh, so it is very crucial for us to make sure that the whatever business uh, logics we are adding in the uh, system is working as expected. So. Uh, in case, so if I am going to use a unit test case, then uh, more than the time that I took for code, uh, which I wrote for creating the application, it will take more uh, lines of code to create the test cases. Like I need to create the test data, then assert it and everything. Uh, so what we did is we have created a barista in which we will be able to configure the test cases rather than coding. Uh, so uh, and with because of this, like even the developer team, uh, QA, product team, anyone can create the test case. Uh, so basic uh, Barista has four main doc types. So uh, let's say like if I'm going to test a uh, user, user doc type, uh, user creation manually. So first I will be creating a user. I will be pro providing an email ID, uh, first name, last name, mobile number, everything, and then I will save it. So we call that user, whichever we are creating as a test data. And once the test data is created, user is created, then I will check like what are, uh, we'll have a basic validations, right? Like I will see if the first email ID is whatever I have provided and uh, mobile number is also whatever has provided. Full name is like first name and last name uh, uh, con con concatenated everything. So those we call it as test cases. Okay. And for a single functionality, we will be creating multiple test cases, right? So. Uh, all those uh, test cases, club, we club, club it into a single test suite. And once that test suite is executed, it will in turn create a test result that is also a separate doc type. And in turn, it will uh, give you an HTML file of coverage, like how much code coverage has been, uh, 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 how much code has been covered for that specific run. Okay, so first I will give you a demo of how, Frappe, uh, how Barista works, and then I will continue with this for the slides. Yes. So as I said already, already, like these are all the basic doc types that are there in uh, Barista. Like we have a test data, test case, test suite, test result, and it's a report. Okay. So uh, let's say like uh, now for this uh, demo, I'm going to create a. Uh, I will be showing you a LMS uh, test case on LMS course module. Okay. So basically, we'll be creating an LMS course with basic informations and uh, chapter, which will be linked to a uh, LMS course, and lesson, and then an API also, like how we will be able to test a Frappe API in uh, Barista. So first, we'll have to create a test data. So in case if I wanted to create a test data for uh, LMS module, let's say, so I'll create a new test data. So the basic information is what our give us description, like create LMS. And which doc type I need to create the test case on, test data on. So as soon as I select it, it will automatically pre-populate all the met, uh, fields that are there in the LMS course. In case if I want, I can add it directly, or I can keep the respective required fields and then delete all. For now, I will delete all and I will create one by one. So I will add, I can, let's say like I give title. So in title, I can give like what should be the value. It can be either a fixed value like a specific name or in case if I wanted to use a code to generate that value. That as well we can give. Okay. So let's say like I am giving and then let's say like short introduction those details. And 
one more thing I missed is like how how do you want to create the test data? Like should it be using Frappe's inbuilt uh, model or do you want to insert it as a query? That also you'll be able to do. Or in cases in case like if you are creating an uh, user from your uh, using an API, so that as well will be able to use as a function. So we all we need to do is we need to provide the function method name. What are all the parameters? Uh, we would be input parameters for that specific uh, specific API which we need to share. Okay. So this is how we create a test data. So I'm going back here. So it is already created. So once the test data is created, then we need to link it to a test case. So here as well, like I will create a test case. I will select on which doc type I need to. I'm going to create the test case on. Then I can. It can. It will automatically show you all the test case uh, test data that are applicable for the test uh, case doc type LMS course. So I will select it, and then I will add what are all the expected results. Like in this case, uh, so the test data I'm creating is for uh, with a title, description, short description, and instructor. Instructor is basically a. Uh, it has a child table, like more than one instructor I can add in a single LMS course. Okay, so I have given the name as barista. So in the test case, I'm just checking if the value, so how, what are all you can uh, assert in a test case is, you can check a specific field value, a record validation, like in case creating an LMS course, it will create another doc type. Then I can assert that as well. In case of any workflow stage, that as well I can uh, assert. In case of any APIs, I can uh, assert the response. And if any error we are expecting, that as well we'll be able to assert it over here. Then here I have selected uh, title as the field which I'm going to validate. And the fixed value, here as well we have fixed or any code if you wanted to write, basic codes will be able to write. And I'm asserting for the title I'm expecting is barista. I've added one more negative scenario like title I'm expecting is test barista. So once this test case is created, then I will be clubbing all the test cases into a test suite. So one more uh, thing if you note here is I have added a test data. This is a pre-test data. Like let's say like if I wanted to create an uh, LMS course, I would be requiring users uh, before I start uh, testing, right? So whichever test data that has to be created before I start the testing, I can add it as a pre-test data. So once this is added, I'll show you how to run it. So it will be in the terminal. So we have this bench run barista and so each test suite will be mentioning which app name it is corresponding to. Right. So here I will be mentioning like uh, here I have mentioned is LMS. So if I run it as bench run barista LMS, oh yes, okay. All the test, case, test suites that are having uh, app name as LMS will be executed and the result will be provided. If I wanted to test a specific, uh, specific test suite alone, then I can give it by iPhone S and the test suite name. It will also work. So for now, I'm executing all the test suits. So first, it will create the test data, and then it will execute the test suite, uh, test cases, and will provide you the info. If you see here, whichever is highlighted in uh, green are the test cases that has passed, and whichever is in red are the one which has failed. Okay, and this is the uh, summary view. I will give you the detailed view of, uh, like if we wanted to check the detailed view, right? So for each test case, uh, test suite that is running, there will be a run name. This can be configured. Okay, pass iPhone one is what we have here. So in each test suite, we have a test result. I will add a filter for pass one and uh, the test suite name. It will give you the detailed uh, results. Okay, so here this first one has failed. So it will give you the detailed view of what was the what was the value we got from the test suite and what is the expected values so with this we'll be able to correct the test suite see if it is any any wrong and then we'll be able to proceed further and one more thing which if you see there is a uh, execution verification uh, verify coverage at uh, url is being provided so this is basically the code coverage for that specific run so i'll just open this coverage and show you so this is the coverage it gives you the overall view of when I ran this test, test suite for that specific app, what is the code cover? How many lines of code has been covered? Okay, and uh, this is a summary view, like 13% is covered, and in each file, how much percentage has been covered, everything. So, let me open one file. Ah, 
let me open yeah so if i click on that specific file it will give you which are all lines were covered and which are all were missed so with this i can add additional test data test cases as well yes so now coming back to the so uh, like as I said already, since it is, we are configuring everything in UI itself, even uh, QA, product team, developers, everyone can create their own test cases and make sure that all the scenarios they are getting uh, tested, working as properly. And I already explained like test data, like uh, we can create test data using data, SQL query, or, uh, uh, or functions as well. And this is also covered. Coverage file gives, this is a very much helpful for developers to make sure that all the scenarios are being covered. Yes.